Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Rise of the Empire Territory Battles video guide. Now already covered uh, full clears of Sector 1, 2 and 3 and now even started working slowly on Sector 4 getting enough teams to Relic 8. Already full clear Lethal so that was my latest guide. Again you can find that and all my other guides on my Swag of Life website. And there'll be link in the description below. So now that I've got more or less, you know, Sector 3, slowly Sector 4 covered, I'm kind of going back and uh, trying out uh, different teams on autoplay just to see if we can also uh, clear all these Sector 1, 2, 3 on autoplay. We know some missions won't be possible, but at least, you know, those standard missions, uh, what teams to use that you can do autoplay. So that's what I'll show you in this one what I used uh, for autoplay on all the missions here in Sector 1. Uh, we just start off first on the dark side Mustafar then we'll make our way uh, there to the mixed and finally on, we'll finish off on the light side. Uh, so we'll kick off here with Lord Vader uh, mission. I mean probably no this is very easy just hit autoplay and that's basically it. Lord Vader eventually ramps up enough uh, in the second wave just to finish off Jedi Master Kenobi. Wave 1 Obviously not much of a challenge because these guys simply don't have the damage. Uh, Jedi Master Kenobi, he's durable, right? He's healing up, he's got damage immunity and things like that. He's got some healing immunity also, but again, he's not hitting nearly hard enough to really be a threat here. So you just save here uh, to hit autoplay and let Lord Vader get to work, finish off Kenobi. And there you go, we got our first autoplay mission out of the door then we got the next one here um, at the bottom left here we can use inquisitors a little bit tricky here with b2 just make sure you target target droideka so if they finish off droideka first and then you should be good to go just to keep him under control there you go droideka is out and then we are stuck a little bit uh, here behind magna guards uh, but we should be able to handle this uh, quite easily Magna Guard number one goes down, looks like working on Battle Droid, another Magna Guard goes down and we are already into wave two. And here just uh, full auto play, no Droidekas, so you should be good to go here. These guys don't have a whole lot of damage at this point. Uh, so your Inquisitors should be able to get this job done. There we go, down to Security Battle Droid, we have to burn two Newts and then we, we will be able to as well to complete this mission on, on autoplay as you can see pretty easy pretty straightforward just make sure you target target droid in the beginning to put torture on, on it and then you are good to go so the next mission one here uh, on the left uh, so here i'm using trench uh, so before we hit auto uh, let's just go ahead distribute attack uh, we got nudes there put a weapon attack on him and then with the mass assist on b2 so it doesn't keep gaining bonus turn meter get a stun here on droidica there we go, that's fine, uh, sure, just keep going after Droideka. Uh, let's go ahead and put Extortion on him as well, giving us more speed. Uh, then I'm going to go ahead and put uh, here uh, Tank Tech over on uh, a Brute, so he's taunting whenever he's got protection. Uh, let's go ahead and heal him up. Okay, perfect, and uh, we'll just keep going here. I will hit in a mo uh, auto any moment now, I just want to dish out the last uh, piece of tech and we should be good to go here. So while this, some of these missions are not full auto play, at least you know you don't have to manually play uh, the whole mission here. There we go, finally, uh, let's go ahead and uh, put a med pack over on Geo Brood Alpha, finish off a Droidica, and now you can go ahead and hit auto play at this point. This one needed a little bit of preparation before I could hit auto. I have uh, won on full auto right out of the gate, but I have also lost. So if you want to make sure this wins, uh, you do want to uh, open up, you know, with the starting sequence correctly. And from here on out, you've got all the tech already dished out and we can just go ahead and just let it play on full auto here without any problems. Obviously, if you do want to make this uh, auto safer, you can just, you know, tap uh, and uh, target whoever you want to target. Uh, that makes it a little bit safer. Uh, but if you just want to hit auto and not look at your phone, these guys can still uh, obviously get it done, as you can see. Uh, finish <laughs> leaving Droideka for the last. Well, it wasn't very clever. He should be the first one to go down, but we were still able uh, to win this one. And then we've got one more ground mission here. Uh, so for this one, I will go ahead and bring out Night Sisters. Night Sisters are great uh, for all these missions here on autoplay, just because of all the revives. AI simply does not know how to handle them. So you can see just hitting full auto, all the revives. Uh, we've got all the 
plague spreading without any issues. Troika proving to be a little bit of a pain because of uh, tenacity up, but eventually you do get it down. There we go, down in the red. Down goes Troika. Then we got here Geos in this uh, next wave again. You know, eventually plague will get to them. Uh, so you don't have to worry about it. They do have a, a couple of heals to begin with, but doesn't matter, as mentioned before. Eventually, Night Sisters do get through them. There uh, we go. They keep defeating somebody. We've got lots of revives on this team, so you should be good to go here. All right. Keep pushing, guys. There we go. Poggle goes down, and this now completed all the ground missions here on Otto on Mustafar, which leaves us only with the Scythe mission. So let's go ahead and knock this out. So I finally have my Leviathan at 7 stars. So Leviathan can actually auto this mission. So let me show you the lineup here that I'm using. We obviously have to use Scythe and then we use the Bomber and Mark 6. As we know, Mark 6 is very good here uh, to tank a few hits. Okay, let's go ahead uh, and just hit full auto. And you will see that, you know, it can work here. There we go. I'll just keep doing whatever. All right, and let's go ahead and dispel the buffs. Uh, down goes Seed Bomber, I guess he did his job. Now we got a lot of stacks already on Mark 6, so now Mark 6 can tank here for a while, hopefully. Okay, uh, let's go ahead and see what AI will bring as the first reinforcement. Okay, so bringing in Spy, uh, which should allow us now a little bit to start feeding turn meter to the team. There we go, we got another turn already. Uh, unfortunately, we did not dish out enough debuffs, so we're not able yet to disable their reinforcements. Okay, here comes an AoE. That's a lot of debuffs. Hopefully, uh, we'll be able to use it on our next turn. We got Foresight on us, so we were able to dodge that one, so no buzzes for them. There we go, Mark 6 doing wonderful work. There we go, disabling their reinforcements, so no more reinforcements for them. And Retribution here <laughs> is really good on Mark 6. All the counterattacks. And yeah, looks like they keep going after Mark 6, which is perfect. Next reinforcement AI brought out uh, was Tie Advanced. There we go. So far, so good. Let's just keep getting that Foresight. All right. Come on, Mark 6. There we go. Perfect. More Foresight. More stacks of, of Mark 6. Look at all these hits it's taking. And we are already in our ultimate. And we know once we hit ultimate, we should be able now to clean this up. Especially because now we can actually start summoning Vulture Droids on our side. There we go. <laughs> this is pretty nice. And then Vulture Droids there help you out with Buzz Droids to finish off uh, these guys. There we go. We got Buzz Droids on Sandfag. Died off from Buzz Droids. Okay, perfect. Let's see what they're gonna bring in. All right, so we got uh, Tide Dagger coming in with an AoE. Uh, we'll just keep plowing through here. All right, okay. Ooh, nice dodge there. There we go. Now we start smacking AoEs on them because we took over Malevolence. So definitely helping us out here a little bit. Okay. Alright. Hyena Bomber goes down. Who's next? We got a Vulture Droid up next on the menu. There we go. Buzz is over there. That should finish off the Vulture Droid. Uh, oh, looks like this one isn't summoned. So yeah, okay. So we'll have to finish this one as well. Do you want AoE there? Perfect. Just keep doing this. That's it, guys. Like you can see, if you got Leviathan 6 stars, this mission, just put this team in, auto play it, and, you know, hopefully it will work for you. I I'm not saying it's 100%, but even manually playing, it's not 100% anyways. And that's it. Uh, full clear on auto play of Mustafar complete. So let's make our way over to Corellia, where we will start uh, with auto playing uh, Kira Young Han mission. So if you do run here uh, Galactic Legend Ray, you can just pretty much hit autoplay. As, especially if you're throwing uh, as well Commander Sokatan on here. It makes this uh, much easier. She's got, you know, all the stat boosts for us and things like that. If you don't want to spare Commander Sokatano, you can throw in the Vander Chewy. He's good as well with his revives and everything. Uh, but the way I spread my teams here... Uh, I did not need Commander Sokatano uh, because I use Jedi Master Kenobi in the May Skid Fisto mission anyway. So Commander Sokatano does not really have a home. So this is kind of perfect use for me. So I can just auto play this mission uh, because this mission is very important. Remember, uh, because we do get some get currency for the guild. So definitely, you know, it's good to pay attention to this mission. And luckily now I can uh, auto play it easily. Then we just got generic mission on this one. I'll just be using here a uh, Sith, just hit full auto, and these guys should be 
able to carry you through. We obviously got their uh, insta kills from Ultimate Power, from Sif Eternal. Uh, then Nihilus got Annihilate, and both Malgus and Malak. It's got sort of, inst they're not really insta kills, but obviously their attacks, they do a lot of damage. The drains and things like that. So we're all into wave 2. We lost Darth Revan, but it's okay. Still the main core of this squad, as you can see, is alive. So we'll just keep pushing through. Okay, there we go. Alright, keep going guys. You've got this covered. No danger here anymore. There we go, Nihilus popping off an insta-kill. Uh, let's see who's gonna finish these boys off. Alright, uh, just Stormtrooper left. Who's gonna finish him? There we go, Malak with a drain. And that's another here uh, on full autoplay mission. Then we got Dr. Afra. Uh, this one as well, um, you can autoplay as well, maybe a little bit of a risk of losing, but I've tried it, uh, I think, like three times, and it does sometimes go down to the wire, but somehow uh, they always pull through with a win. Like, wave one is very easy, very straightforward, these guys are not that durable, but in wave two, they do have some bonus protection on them, so they are more durable, uh, but, you know, still able to get it to work here. Bringing Kersant and there just a little bit for the taunt, uh, to begin with, because um, I don't need him there to use with Jabba. Jabba can get it done without Kersantan. So definitely, if you are doing auto, Kersantan here is a good option. Uh, just, you know, that you do have somebody that can taunt. And that completed the Afra mission on full auto as well. So now we got the Jabba mission. Uh, let's go ahead and run this one also uh, on autoplay. Let's go ahead, hit full auto here. And uh, let's see what's going to happen. Again, wave one usually is a lot easier enemies don't have bonus protection like they do in wave 2 and we got lots of thermal detonators stacking so as soon as Laia uh, goes off with her AoE they just go down oh we got our uh, ultimate right at the start of wave 2 so we just took somebody down uh, there we go again thermal detonators keep piling up so these guys eventually just keep uh, blowing up from thermal detonators full auto on Jabba uh, pretty easy then we also got the ships here uh, so for this one using Executor uh, with Razor Crest and Houndsmith starting and obviously we are forced uh, to use uh, um, Alando's uh, Falcon and then just showing you other enforcement uh, before I go into the battle that you can see what I used and here we're just going to go ahead and hit uh, full auto and we should be able to uh, get this out all right okay that's fun uh, what they've got for us they brought in Tie Interceptor looks like we lost Lando's Falcon but doesn't matter to be honest uh, it's really these uh, bounty hunter ships that we have that carry this mission. There we go, we already got contract triggered. Um, down goes that one, and a mass assist, and down goes the last ship. And this now completes a full clear as well on autoplay of Corellia. So now we will make our way to our final planet for today on the light side, which is Coruscant. Uh, so we'll just start off uh, with the light side uh, generic mission here. I'm going to do Padme Bad Batch. Um, so if you are doing an auto, looks like Padme lead is better just because of courage. Again, it does get a little bit dicey in the second wave just because obviously the target gets removed. So again, if you want to maximize chances of auto playing with this squad uh, in this wave two as well, I would suggest that you don't just put your phone away and let it run because as you will see, it will get very close of me from losing. Uh, so after this one, uh, whenever I auto play, I constantly am here. And then just make sure in wave 2 that whenever I can, I move target uh, to one of those uh, medics. Because medics, they've got revives. So you can need to take target medics, and but still run it on full auto. Then uh, this was much safer to run, to be honest. Uh, and there we go. Okay, we got one medic down. There's you can see the other medic revived. Uh, and at this point, AI took the, both medics now down. And eventually, we are able to get through them. But again, this gets a little bit more dicey than it should have been. Uh, just because I was not moving the target around as I should. But still, Bad Batch, look at these guys. Get it done. Come on. Somebody's gonna go down now. Ugh. Come on. There we go. They were able to finish it off. So definitely a little bit of a risk here if you just leave it on also and do not move target around to target medics. And let's move on to the other uh, light side mission that we do have on Coruscant. So for this one, I'm just using uh, Leia here. I'm just gonna use uh, do full auto at this point. Uh, Leia is really good here, especially if you're bringing Captain Rex with the days and everything, then Drogon with the stuns, Commander Luke with the stuns, R2 with the stuns, so we can burn through these guys very quickly on full auto. Starting off with <laughs> with an ultimate right at the wave 2 was perfect, so we keep these guys a little bit under control. But you can see, pretty, pretty safe here, nothing can really happen. 
another ultimate already and we're just burning through these guys like it's nobody's business definitely Leia she's an absolute beast here in territory battles she can pretty much auto all the missions uh, that you try and there you go uh, completed both generic lights and missions on Coruscant uh, so we do now have a Jedi mission there we go. So for this one, I feel like if you do want to auto, you almost have to bring Jedi Knight Revan just because of that buff immunity uh, that you can put out. And you just kind of target boss and try to go after boss. Uh, there we go. Again, similar like with probably Padme, Bad Batch. Um, if you want to make this a little bit safer, I guess tar keep targeting boss whenever you can. Keep moving the target around or on medics just to make sure you keep these guys under control so they don't get a chance to obviously use democracy three times. As soon as Maddie goes down, they lose the revives and you should be good to go here. As you can see um, there, um, Jedi Cal, I do have Omicron on his is it whirlwind slam ability. But as you can see, the AI is absolutely stupid using uh, their Jedi Cal. Uh, he's not very useful at all. And same thing as you can see here in Wave 2, a little bit struggling. Again, if I would have moved the target over uh, to Medic first, this would be a lot safer. But just, I wanted to see, you know, can you just hit auto and take, don't look at your phone and wait for AI to finish. So depending, you know, do you absolutely want to have guaranteed two waves or not? If do, you want to maybe move target around to medics. Which leaves us for the final mission. Uh, as I alluded earlier, the reason why Commander Sokatano is free for me, because I'm using Jedi Master Kenobi in the maze and Kid Fisto mission. And here we're just going to hit full auto play. Commander, so uh, sorry, the Padawan Ahsoka Tano is the key here as well to be used because on her basic she's dispelling buff, so she's constantly removing that protection up that enemy is getting, so you can actually do start doing a lot of damage, uh, and eventually Jedi Master Kenobi he stacks up his damage as well. But as you can see, like that AI is really silly uh, with Mace. Um, like even when it, when I removed the target. The AI was not targeting enemies uh, that had shatter point on them, <laughs> which is kind of silly. I thought that, you know, they would program Mace's AI to always target whoever's got uh, shatter point on them, but that's not the case. Uh, again, if you want to make this mission safer, uh, you might want to keep moving target onto Anakin first and then Medic and then the rest. But I just want to see, can we get it done? We lost Mace here. Uh, but you know as you can see he wasn't all that useful anyway because he wasn't hitting shatter point so this point is pretty much Jedi Master Kenobi show uh, he will be able to carry this to the win all by himself there we go as you can see all the missions of Coruscant can get a little bit dicey so definitely if you want to have guaranteed on auto play uh, clearing all the waves here especially in wave 2 make sure you look you know at your uh, game and keep moving the targets around we are only one battle away from auto playing uh, whole sector one, full clearing it. So just the ship's mission, and here we're going to use uh, profundity because we have to use outrider. Just gonna head and hit four to play. I mean, we are facing endurance here, guys. So you know this isn't much of a challenge uh, for profundity. I mean, they are quite durable, but I guess as soon as we hit ultimate, we should be able to finish them off. There we go in a timely manner. And just keep going through this Y-Wing and then we got Clone Sergeant and we should be good, good to go here uh, and full clearing Sector 1 on autoplay. And there you go guys, uh, hopefully this video was useful and helpful showing you the teams that I use now in Sector 1 to be able to complete uh, on full autoplay, well some of them a little bit interaction but mostly on full autoplay full clearing sector one saving me a lot of time in the process so now that sector one auto plays done i already started uh, testing uh, sector two teams that can auto play there spoiler alert sector two is a little bit more challenging some of the missions like seer cal mission you have to play manually and as well geo mission you have to play manually but i think others do or can be auto playable so be on the lookout for sector two full clear auto play edition sometime soon and then obviously after that i'll move on to sector 3 and then in the meantime i'll also start working on my sector 4 squad so plenty of territory battles content coming in the near future so if you enjoy this content make sure to subscribe like the video but until then have fun enjoy your life and may the rng be with you my friends